Linux and laptops. One of the things that's almost been like oil and water because Linux, the one downside when it comes to laptops is it's extremely power hungry. And that kind of sucks because you'll drain your battery in like an hour or two if you just leave it on stock settings after installing Linux, where on Windows, it'll go 10 hours, which is fine. But there's packages we've done in the past and I've mentioned them. There's TLP, which you could still use, but you get rid of Turbo, turbo Boost, so you lose a little performance. Then you also have um, something called Indicator dot cpu or something like that it was a frequency package where you could select your frequency or go instead of going performance mode you could go power save mode however i didn't really like this package it felt clunky and then on top of that you could do power top uh, auto tune and just set that up as like a system d service all these solutions suck i hate them it always feels better when i'm in windows and that is just not acceptable to me so with anything in linux we can fix it. There's always some genius out there that creates a package, and that's what this video is about. So let's go ahead, jump on the desktop, and I got something special for you today. Over here, we have the old K-Focus. I did a video on this back in December, and I have been using the crap out of this laptop. It is by far the best laptop I've ever had in my life, and I just have fallen in love with it and use it on a daily basis. So, this is the laptop we're going to use. Uh, if you want to see that video where I review this entire thing, by all means, I'll try and link it up here. But this thing with this package gives me the best performance and I get the best battery life and I can do anything I want, which is just amazing. It, it, I've always hated laptops, but this thing has made me love laptops uh, for the first time. Enough talk. Let's get on the desktop and get into it. Okay, so the package I've been talking about is Auto CPU Frequency. And this right here does pretty much everything that those three other packages did. Power top, the frequency where it would change the frequency of the CPU to try and save battery life. And you can even use this with TLP. It actually works great in tandem with TLP if you want to squeeze that extra performance. Me personally, I just uninstalled TLP just to see what it would do. And I still get a good three to four hours worth of uh, utility out of my laptop with TLP off because I want that extra boost clock. I want to get all, squeeze every bit of performance I can out of the laptop while I'm using it. But again, if you're using just light office work, you probably want TLP installed. However, I do like to get some beefy games going because there is a 2080 Super in this sucker. So with that, over on my actual terminal, you can see what auto CPU frequency does. Now, there's a multitude of ways to install it. The easiest way is to just to use the snap, which is snap install auto dash CPU frequency. And you just type that in, go for it. You might need to use it as sudo, but uh, I'm personally not a big fan of snap packs. So I actually built and installed it by just following the how to article over here. So depending on your level of skill, you can do either or. And you can see here's the snap store or you can just go ahead and build it from this installer right here they make it pretty easy so you know if you don't like snap packs by all means just run the actual installer and it should work just fine or for you arch and manjaro users it's in the aur so just uh use the aur to install it which is great now to see this you can actually do a live view of it just so i can kind of show you what it's actually doing and why Windows works so well is it's changing your clock speeds as you're using the operating system. And here, if we do a live, and I just hit enter, you'll see the live mode. And oh, right now I'm using it as a daemon, so it won't actually show it. But if you before you install it as a daemon or a system service, you probably want to do live mode just to kind of check it out, see what it's doing as you're using your computer. Uh, so we're going to just use stats, but you could do an install to install it permanently on your system. But since mine's already installed, we're just going to hit stats and then it'll just sit here and refresh. Now it's right now setting as a performance governor. And as I use this, it can actually switch to power save mode. So if I'm not using a lot of things on my system, it'll actually go ahead, switch it to a power save governor. Now, since I'm streaming directly from my laptop using the 2080 Super, there's a lot of things I'm actually using this laptop for. Well, that's why it'll switch between the two. 
but it also kind of depend on what I'm doing. Look, oh, unplug this, hit OK. Let's see what it does when the battery itself uh, changes from charging power, because if it's in the power, you want as much performance as you can. Going to battery powered, let's see what happens. And as soon as that happened, you can see it just go to discharge and then it goes, hey, oh, you're, you're, you're on battery now. Well, I don't wanna just kill everything using the performance governor. So it auto switches to the power save governor. And you can see the down clock happening up here as well. So this is like a, a three in one tool. And again, if you don't want turbo boost, just install TLP and this will actually increase it further. However, again, I don't even, I don't use any of those old packages. So if you're using Linux on a laptop and you have all that crap installed, just uninstall all of it is my recommendation. Install auto CPU frequency because it's gonna change your life. Uh, as far as using Linux on a laptop, this thing now can go upwards of 12 hours because I'll go ahead and switch from my NVIDIA, shut off my dedicated graphics card in here and just go run off my Intel chip and it, it can go 12 hours or even, even past that now because of all these power saving tips that's happening. So if you're using Linux on a laptop, install this package immediately. Remove all the other ones. I recommend just removing TLP, seeing what happens with your laptop. And then if you need it, let's say you're really just using office work, you don't need all the performance, go ahead and install TLP and use it in tandem with this package. However, I've found just running this package by itself is enough and it works fantastic. I can game, I can do all that and still get several hours of usage out of it without burning up the laptop, which is great. Uh, so I just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. No longer does Linux suck on laptops and just suck all the power out of the laptop. Uh, just install this package and away you go. It's fixed. I've used it on Debian. I've used it on Arch. I've used it even on rail based uh, distros on the laptop and it works great. So with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Did you know about this package? Let me know. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.